In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the answers to help you solve the math problems on the ACT. So this one reads, for what value of x is the equation 2 times the quantity x minus 12 plus x equals 36 true? Okay, so we could solve this algebraically and get the x by itself, or you can just simply plug in the answers and see which one works out. So if we look at the first one, 4, I can do 2 times 4 minus 12 plus 4. And you can just put that on your calculator. And if you do that, you get negative 12. Okay. Now, if you're using a TI-8384 calculator, you can just do second enter. And that will bring this back up where you can just change the 4 into 8. So end up with 2 times 8 minus 12 plus 8. So that saves you some time. And you get 0. So it doesn't equal 36 yet. So those two answers are not correct. Okay, so you can do second enter again. That brings it back up. Now we want to change the 8 into 16. And since we only use one spot for the 8, you have to do insert. The insert another spot so you can put in the 1 and 6. So the insert would be second and the DEL button, delete button. It gives you the function of INS so you can insert. Okay, so you can insert there so you can change that to a 16. Okay, so you get 2 times 16 minus 12 plus 16. And that equals 24. Okay, so we're not quite there yet to 36. Okay, now you can change the 16 into 20. Okay, and now we get the 36. Okay, so our answer is D, 20. So in this case, this problem is probably easy enough so that you can get the X by itself and solve it, you know, algebraically. But if it was more complex, you can use this technique to figure out the correct answer choice. All right, so this one wants to know what's four fifths raised to negative three halves power. So you could work this out and get it into, you know, square root form and reduce things and get it into one of these form answer choices. But another way you can do is just figure out what this is on a calculator. Okay, so on your calculator, do parentheses, 4 divided by 5, caret, parentheses, negative 3 divided by 2. Okay, so when you get that, you get about 1.3975 and then so on. So I want to basically plug in all the answer choices and see which one gives me the same answer. Okay, so 5 halves, just do 5 divided by 2, that gives you 2.5. Okay, and then you can try 5 times the square root of 5 divided by 8, that gives you the one point. 3975. Okay, so that's one matches. And that was only on our second try, so that was good. If it was all the way the last one, then it's going to take up some time. But here we were able to do it quick enough. All right, so this one says, what value of x makes the below equation true? Okay, so first you want to do is figure out what 5 to the fourth power is. You can just type it in the calculator. You know, 5 carat 4, and that gives us 625. Okay, so we want to figure out what value of x gives us 625 for this side. Okay, so first we're going to do 25 raised to the third power divided by 5 to the second. All right, so if you do that in the calculator, we get 625. Okay, so we were able to get the right answer on the first try. You know, if you were to do the next one, it'd be 25 to the 6th power divided by 5 to the second. That gives us 
625. Okay, you know, nearly 9 million. So we we're able to get this on the first try with answer choice A. Now this one reads, if both x and the quantity x over 3 plus x over 7 plus x over 9 are positive integers, what is the least possible value of x? Okay, so again, we just plug in the answer choice. I'm going to try A first. 21 divided by 3 plus 21 divided by 7 plus 21 divided by 9. I'm going to get 12.3 repeating. Okay, so that's not an integer, so that's not our correct answer choice. Okay, so on your calculator, you can do second enter, and you get these again. So change the 21 to 27. Okay, once you do that, you get an answer of 15.85 and some remaining decimals. Okay, so that's not an integer. Okay, you can go back in, second enter, and replace the 27s with 36. And you'll get 21.14 and some more decimals. So that's not an integer, so we'll keep going. You can try 63, so replace the 36 with 63. And we get 37, so we get an integer for for that one. So our answer choice D, answer choice D is correct for 63. And really what we end up finding is the least common multiple of three, seven, and nine. But if you didn't know that, then you can just plug in the answer choices. That's another way to solve it.